Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in this video, we are going to talk about how we use the model pop-up in Angular 18. Again, if we say model pop-up, either you can create a simple HTML CSS model pop-up also without using bootstrap. Or if you are using bootstrap, that is just a default classes we get and we get the model pop-up, right? So HTML code, I'm not covering either. You can design your own HTML CSS model, or you can use the bootstrap also. So I'm going with the bootstrap. So I have for Angular 18 to cover the logical scenarios. I have just created a new project in repository. You will be finding with the name. Let me just find the name. So it will be with the Angular 18 logical scenario. This is the repository name you will be finding. All the code, whatever we are going to see for the logical scenarios related to Angular 18 will be pushed to this code. So in this project, I have just created one component that is model pop-up. So these are the various scenarios by which we can open the model pop-up. So first is using document.getElement by ID. Means by using the document uh, DOM, of, DOM element, we can just add a dynamic style. Then by using ViewChat also, we can do that. Or third way is by if we have added bootstrap.js into our Angular version, then only we can do that. And in Angular 18, we have the new thing that is signal. So we will try to do the same thing by and the last way is by using signal. So these are the various ways which we are going to see. One more way I will add it over here. That will be by dynamic class. Fine. So these are the various ways which we are going to see. Now, so if you see, I have created the routing and everything. So my component is getting properly open. Now, if you I show you the project structure in angular.json, I have installed the bootstrap. So we need to add in style section, we need to add bootstrap. And one more thing, this is optional the third way by which bootstrap.js we are going to use. So if we are going to use that way, then only this is an important. Fine. Now let's get the bootstrap model pop-up code. Bootstrap tutorial model. So this is the model, right? So let's copy this and let's paste it into our HTML code in the model pop-up. If I save now, so you can see we are not getting anything because this is a model pop-up. Unless we add some CSS to this particular div, it won't open. Fine. Now, the first way. Let me just add row column structure. Let's add a button. Now on the first button, open model by document. Fine. So on the first button, what we are going to do, what from the JavaScript, how do we get, how do we get the instance of our any, any element by document dot get element by ID. So that thing we are going to use. So let's write a click event over here. open by document, just a method name I'm giving. So let's create this function. Fine, let's just open side by side. So now our model pop-up has, this is the starting tip of our model pop-up and it has the ID, my model. Now this ID we are going to use to particularly select that particular element. So what we need to do, we need to select this div. We need to get the instance of this DOM element by using this ID. So for that, I'm creating locally variable constant model is equal to document dot get element by ID. Right. 
So document means my whole page. And from that page, I'm trying to select particular element by specifying the ID. So here we need to specify this ID. So this ID will go over here. So up till this line, what we will get, we will get the instance of that particular element, DOM object, DOM element object we will get. Fine. Then whenever we are reading the particular element, like this method, we always have to add a null check. So if, because if ID is not there, we will get it null. So we cannot add something to the null. So not equal to null. Then here, what we need to do, we just need to add a dynamic CSS. So model dot style dot display CSS is equal to, if we have to show, then it will be block. So this is the method to open the model pop-ups. Let's copy the same. And if we have to close, let's close model by document. So in, when we had to open the uh, model pop-up, we, we are adding the CSS block. And if we have to hide, we just have to add none. Fine. Now this function we have already called over here. And this function to close the model pop-up, we will call it over here. Click like this. Let's remove this for now. Fine. Let's see if we are able to open it. So now if I click on it, you can see we are able to open the model pop-up. And if I click on close, you can see we are able to close it also. Let me show you it again. If I click on this close button, I'm not able to close because we didn't call that function. So if we call this function over here also, now we will be able to close it. So open, close. Got it? So this is the first way by getting the instance of our particular DOM element. But this is not advisable. But you should be familiar also because what are the various ways by which you can get a reference of an element, you should be familiar. So if you have learned JavaScript properly, so you will be aware of this method. So this is the first way. Now, second way is by using view child. So Angular suggests like don't directly refer to the DOM APIs. Means don't directly use the DOM API method like this. Instead of that, if you have to get the instance of particular element, create a view child of that. Fine. Now second instance. Let me just copy paste. This model I'm just copy pasting. So this is the second model. Let's make it model two fine now let's create one more button and this will be using view child open model by view child fine so on this second way is like by we by creating a view child so view child is whatever we did over here getting an instance of that particular element by selecting that element by get element by ID. Now the same thing we can do by using view child also. So first we need to create the view child. So at the rate view child round bracket and here we need to provide the ID of that. So that will be whatever the element you want to access by using the view child. So you need to provide a hash property over here. So this element we need to access. So model two just a hash property name I'm giving and this will go over here. Fine. So this will be model two colon. Now the data type, it is nothing but element. So element ref, just the data type I'm giving. What is it saying? Okay. It doesn't have any initialize it. Let's try to initialize it. New element ref. It will give us the error. I also don't know how do we declare that. Let's add undefined or undefined. Still it is. Okay, sorry. V is capital. Fine. So let's try to remove. Okay, initialization is needed. So this is how we create the view child. View child and then our property name, hash property name, whatever the template variable name you have given over here, that we can pass it over here. Then your instance name. This can be different, okay? Don't just get confused. Like model pop-up two, fine. So this hash property name, you have to provide it over here. Now, 
we have created another function, right? So open by view child. Let's create this function now. Now, here in this function, what we need to do here, this is the view child name. So this dot view child dot native element. Why didn't we get native element? And why it is coming like this? Sorry, I'm using this method view child name dot native element. So whatever the DOM object element, we used to get it over here by writing this, the same thing, we will get it over here also native element dot then remaining things dot style dot display none it will be same now it will ask us to check like if it is not null so for that let's add a if statement so if this is not null then only we need to add this now we don't need question mark so now you can see the error is gone because if we don't have this hash property it might get null na? Right, so that's why we need to add a null check. And second thing on close also we need, right? So just like this, close by view child. Same thing I will copy paste. Just instead of block, it will be none. Let's copy this and let's paste it over here. Let's save and check now. So now, the second method open by view child so see model 2 is opening and if i click on close that is getting closed also so that is the second way which we have tried now third is by using bootstrap.js so from bootstrap 5 earlier bootstrap was uh, dependent on the jquery so many functionalities were there which were uh, if we have to use the bootstrap jquery was needed but from bootstrap 5 they have get rid of the uh, dependency on jquery in build, they have created all the things, whatever needed, right? So when you install the bootstrap, we add the CSS into angular.json. Just like that, you need to add bootstrap.bundle.min.js also in script section. Fine. This is the third way we are talking. So now if we have to use the bootstrap model, let's just get the same. Let's use the first one. Now I'm going to use the third way. So third way is in over here, my model two, my model three. So this is the third model and I'm having ID. I have just changed the ID that is my model three. Now let's say we have a button and we want to open by bootstrap. JS. Now we don't need the click function. Now see. So if we have to directly open it, so we have to use this two property data toggle. So let's copy it and let's paste it over here. And here we just need to provide the ID, which model pop-up ID we need to open. So my, my model three, let's save and try. So if we click, you can see model pop-up is opening. And if we close, wait, why it is not closing? Okay, we remove that. So for closing, we need this data dismissal model property on the close. So over here and over here also. Let's save and check. It is opening on click of close. It is closing also. So this is the third way. But the problem with this approach is you don't get the click event. Let's say on opening on opening of the model pop up, you need to write some code. So you cannot write that because is it it is directly automatically on that button click. Okay. And if you have to write some code on the close of that model pop-up also, that also you cannot write. So there has some disadvantages, but let's say you don't have to do anything on the opening on the model and the closing of the model, then you should go it. You will remove, you will, you don't have to write that extra functions just to open and the close. So this is the third way. Now fourth way by using signal. So again, the same thing we will use, but signal, we will use it over here with dynamic class. So ultimately, like, how do we use, how do we open the model pop-up? We just have to add a dynamic CSS, correct? So let's copy paste. I will use the first one. Now here, let's 
see what is the CSS. What we need to create two CSS. Okay, two class I'm creating. Let's say, or we can directly use the style also. Let's try style first instead of creating class. So, ng style style then display property and here can we pass like this no let's try property binding display or something no this is also not working yeah, yeah. So now here, let's say block. Let me just try this. If it works, yeah, it is open. Now what we need to do, we are trying to add a dynamic style to this element. So, and that too, how, how do we use to create? Means by using signal, we need to open this model puppet. So let's create the signal first. Is model open? Is model or open is equal to signal and default value we will be assigning as yes, false fine now we have created a signal and uh, in this signal we are going to store a boolean value so this variable or this signal we can try over here and how do we read it as a method if this signal has a value true then question mark we will add block css otherwise none css so now you can see we are adding a dynamic CSS to the display property. If this signal has true value, we are adding block, otherwise none. Right? Let's create function also. On click of button, we just need to change the status. Open by signal. signal let's create this function and what we need to do we just need to change the signal value so this dot is model open dot set what we need to set true fine let's try it so if we click on it you can see model pop-up is getting changed Ultimately, what we are doing, we are changing the state value of this signal to true. And if it is true, this CSS will get attached. And on click of close, we need to again change the value. So over here, let's create one more function that is close. And here we will set it to false. Let's copy. Let's put it over here and over here also. Model 4. Let's try opening closing also got it so four ways we have tried now just like this one more way is there by using dynamic class fine let's comment it now let's say we have created two classes show model and here let's say display block just like that we will create one more class to hide none so we have created two class one is having display properties block and one is having display property none and what we need to do we just need to add the dynamic css dynamic class over here so again you can use ng class also but to use ng class you will need to import that common model so to avoid that you can directly use class name is equal to now this we need to remove it from over here now condition will be, we will create one variable. Normal variable is model open. Let's say Boolean value is equal to true. Or you can use the signal also, one and the same thing. But I'm going with the normal variable. Fine. So I have created a normal variable. If this variable has a value true, then we need to add this class with model and the class we have created that is show model and in else again this class 
and the other model that is other class that is height. Fine. So see, we are adding a dynamic class to this div. If this variable is true, then we are adding this set of classes. If it is false, then we are adding this set of classes. And we just need one more button. So let's get the button. Open model by class name. Open name. Let's create this function. And in this function, what we need to do, we just need to change the vice versa of this. So see, instead of creating one more function, I will be just vice versa, assigning vice versa value to this. So single function will do the work of both of the thing. Now this same function, I have to call it over here also and to close it also. Let's save and check if we are able to do the same thing. So if I click, you can see model four is getting opening. If I click on close, it is getting close. Got it? So these are the all possible ways by which you can open the model pop-up. Again, based on the scenario, you have to use it. This is very least scenario. Okay, very less, very say a few scenarios will be there where you will be using this. But some scenarios are there when, where we can avoid writing functions. So you can go over there. View child is the best advice one. Again, signal also you can use. That is also the new thing which you is which it is there and in recent version, all, all come upcoming version also it is going to be there. So just to get familiar, start using signal. Dynamic class is also there and this is also not advisable that much. But if in your project bootstrap.js is already imported, so this is also made. But you don't get the callback of opening and closing. So that is the disadvantage with this. Fine. So these are the five various ways I have explained by which we can you open the bootstrap model pop -up. Again, the same thing you can go with the normal HTML CSS model, model also. Just I have used the bootstrap CSS classes, but if you have created your own model pop -up using HTML CSS, these methods will be same. Fine. Again, if you are new, please do like and subscribe.